Hey guys, my name is Xenia and you are watching DC Martini. Today we have with us the man who has charmed us as Devinder Mishra from Inside Edge. He has also played IPS Maurya in Mirzapur and the very scheming but very small Naveen Kumar from Maharani. Yes, I'm talking about Amit Sial who's all set his upcoming show, upcoming film, Afati Ish. So Amit, welcome to Desi Martini. Thank you so much. And you know, like I said, in all the previous mentioned characters, it was kind of a little serious. But in this one, you play a little light-hearted, the very flirty, Romeo-ish, if I might say so. Uh, that kind of character. So what was yeah. very special about this character that made you say yes to it? Uh, just the explanation that you, the, the way you explain the character, I think it's mostly that. Uh, I was actually looking uh, out for uh, characters that I've not explored before and uh, I was a little skeptical about falling into the trap of being stereotyped uh, with intense roles. So I consciously was trying to, you know, look for uh, other things, other characters to explore and this just fell into my lap at the right time, I suppose. And uh, the script is quirky. It's got quirky characters in it. It's got a quirky storyline. It's got uh, all sorts of elements in it. Drama, suspense, heartbreak, uh, death. And, uh, and it's all uh, intermingled with each other quite nicely and uh, effortlessly. And uh, it, was, it, it was just a pleasure to work. On this film. Of course. Also, the fact that it has an ensemble cast. I mean, if you look at the cast from you, then there's Namit, there's obviously Neha. It's brilliant. So, was that also something that you were looking forward to? See, Namit, uh, I, and Deepak uh, Dobrial, we have uh, known each other for a very long time because we're part of the same industry. We, we, uh, actually respect each other's work and uh, the kind of performances uh, we've seen of each other and there's a mutual respect and uh, obviously it was a it was a beautiful union uh, of sorts for the three of us to come together under one film uh, the biggest pleasure was neha and uh, because neha i think has worked the hardest uh, of shunning her glam quotient and becoming such a simple Simpleton and uh, and playing a part so well, and uh, and 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 uh, special mention to the director Indrajit ji, Indrajit Nattoji, who, whose preparation level and the eye for detail uh, about this film it it was just flabbergasting. It 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 was such a turn on, and uh, it it was impossible to you know not not do or become a part of this film. So it was, uh, it was a great, great, great experience. Yeah, we were, uh, like, like I said, I was chatting with Namit the other day and he said that Indrajit Natoji, the director, he's extremely quirky, which is what he has uh, lent to the film as well, a certain element yeah. of quirk. So what is that special element of quirk that has been lent to your character? Uh, the thing is, I mean, when Indrajit ji came to me with the script and he narrate, narrated my part to me, it was my first uh, question was why me? Because you know, uh, how how could you see me in something like this? Because what I usually get offered is quite intense and completely the opposite of what you're offering me now. And uh, and he said, why not? <laughs> so so uh, I was pleasantly taken uh, aback by it and uh, and and he's he's i think he's a he's a he's a he's an amazing designer himself he's from uh, national institute of design and i if i'm not wrong he he was one of the toppers of the institute and uh, and and the way he was explaining his script and his characters and the way he explained my character prem gunjan so the just just the name of the character was so intriguing uh, you know, calling a character Prem Gunjan. So, uh, so it's essentially a, 
it's essentially the character of a casanova kind of a guy in his in his late 30s who live lives his life to the fullest and uh, and is not very keen of you know uh, falling in love and uh, and not being chained to love and uh, despite that he falls in love with the the character of lallu and uh, and then what happens is it's is essentially the core of the story with every other character okay like you said before that uh, this was one of the reasons why you chose this was because it broke uh, the kind of roles that you were doing it was you were frightened that you would be stereotyped but because of this fear did you say no to any film or any web series before and then later regret it uh, i am uh, i don't think i'm the kind of person who uh, falls into the trap of regretting anything because uh, when you say yes or no to anything it's your best uh, thought out decision at that point in time so there's no point fretting about it but yes i did say no to a lot of uh, a lot of work which was very similar in nature to what i had already done and explored and, uh, and it was a conscious effort on my part to say no to those those things so that so that i don't feel burnt out and i don't feel that i'm repeating myself and uh, it's a huge issue for me not to repeat myself so even if i have done intense characters earlier i have made it a point to you know add add some kind of edge edge to it uh, so that it doesn't feel that i've played uh, this character before so i did i did say no to a lot of things but not uh, no regrets actually none okay that's something that you, you know everyone would probably strive for to say no and not look back and regret it that's a great thing also the fact that uh, you did not think of acting as a very stable career and despite you know uh, completing your studies you came back to your passion you returned back to acting i'm pretty sure that the journey must have been really really difficult what for the do you still feel like you're still struggling even after coming uh, all the way along uh see uh, definitely i am in a very comfortable spot now i am i am doing the kind of work that i always dreamt about doing uh, a lot of work comes my way uh, quite easily now but then again the, the 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 face of the struggle changes because because then then you have to be even more responsible towards your career and towards the choices you make and uh, sometimes those choices are led by you know uh, due to financial reasons the other times it's it's not so good money but the the work that that is being offered to you is fantastic and and in a in a very experimentative space so you want to take it up uh, so those kind of struggles are still there uh, i mean the biggest struggle of life is to make uh, the right choice for yourself i don't think that struggle ever goes away so you you always have to uh, be in the process of making decisions and making choices uh, that would you know make you feel satisfied and happy i would also like to point out here that by you have done a number of films it was with the ott and the web series that you got a lot of popularity and spotlight obviously not taking away from the fact that some of your characters in many films are memorable but you know uh, the characters that we really related to and i think generations related to came from the ott space so yeah but uh, also looking back there aren't uh, many awards that's been given to you for your performances even though they are acclaimed everyone praised it do you feel left out somewhere do you feel that there are biases still existing in the industry that you have to deal with no i don't feel left out i don't care too much about awards any which ways uh, not because i'm being uh, snotty and you know uh, throwing attitude about it it's it just doesn't make sense to me i mean uh, it, 
like say let's compare uh, our awards to uh, awards that are given to athletes so i mean you you know for a fact that somebody is going to run a 100 meter sprint and the fastest would get a gold medal the second the silver the third the bronze i don't feel that actor should be categorized or any artist should be categorized into awards because it just doesn't make sense i mean who is anybody to decide isne isme badi achhi acting kari aur usne usme thodi isse thodi kam achhi acting kari there is no barometer for it so isliye mera awards pe zyada kuch vishwas hai nahi and i don't feel left out at, at all and uh, my only thing is that uh, i do my work honestly and uh, the the space uh, in front of the camera is very uh, it's 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 very pious for me and uh, to be completely respectful towards it and uh, be truthful uh, to it uh, on a on a on a level of 100 being 100% and uh, that's enough a reward and award for me actually aapne ye bhi kaha that sometimes you know uh, the most difficult thing is making the right choice for yourself and a lot of times the choices are because of financial constraints as well there are so many difficulties in the life of an actor we know that acting is one of the most competitive industries and there are new people always in the rat race to uh, to be a part everyone wants to be a part of the industry people dream about this industry so during this journey i'm pretty sure it had not been easy did you ever feel like giving up and what kept you motivated all along many times i i think before inside edge was offered to me i lost all hope and was about to give up but then inside edge happened and i think it's destiny uh, because of a lack of a better word uh, because every time such thoughts have arrived in my head uh, some work has uh, have been thrown into my lap which has kept me afloat and you know uh, kept me from going away and uh, and it it's been it, it's it's almost like magic happening to you the, that you just thought about giving up and something gets offered and it keeps you back and it keeps you in the game and uh, and then it can only be called as destiny i'm supposed to be here and i'm supposed to be doing this and that is the only reason why i'm able to do this we are so thankful that it happened and you did not give up because you know after inside edge we saw you in a very different light and after that the projects that you have taken the characters that you have played they are so varied so different and given the fact that these were web series so you had more space to explore your character more space to Uh, you know, put life to your character. So we are so thankful for that. I'm thankful to you for saying this. <laughs> Pleasure is all ours. And lastly, I would like to ask you this question. Many actors have often said that you know, while working, they have been suddenly replaced from a project without being informed, or they were changed at the last moment. Did that kind of unpleasant uh, situation arrive in your career as well? not yet not yet uh, i think i'm been very fortunate nothing of that that sort has happened to me yet no finally i know i said finally before but finally i know uh, wrapping it up in one point would be difficult but if you could give us one reason why we shouldn't be missing apathy ish at all i think all, uh, all of us uh, have fallen in love and out of it and we know what uh, uh, you know sachche pyar ko nibhana kya hota hai sachche ishq ko nibhana kya hota hai usme bahut sara pain bhi hota hai to aur bahut sari aafat bhi hoti hai to wo sari cheeze aapko aapte ishq mein milengi uh, uh, sab kisam ke masale hain but wo bahut hi beautiful tarike se wo masalon ko is film mein dikhaya gaya hai aur bahut hi quirky characters hain to aapko hansi bhi aayegi aapko rona bhi aayega aapko कैरेक्टर्स के साथ सिंपथी एम्पथी भी होगा तो ये सारे अगर मजे लेने हैं तो आप लोग जरूर देखें थैंक यू सो मच अमित सियाल थैंक यू इट वाज अ प्लेजर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू प्लीज इट इज ऑल माइन थैंक यू